Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Call from Hamilton Mullen. This is Chris. Yeah, I have one more question. Um, uh, a lot of people store uh, music and videos and stuff like that on an external hard drive. Well, I would just like to have all my music on an external hard drive. But I use iTunes because it's just convenient for me. Um, I, I have it on my external hard drive, but when I drag and drop it in, it copies it onto the main hard drive. Okay. Well, don't drag and drop it in. I say what? Don't. Well, why are you dragging and dropping the files from the external hard drive to the, the well, your system, your primary system, wherever you've got... Well, I want it to be able to sync, well, when you buy a song or whatever. I can't really explain this. Well, you can't have more than one syncing point, at least from the same system. You can set up, as, as uh, who is it, Bughouse mentions, you can set up a second library. Yeah. But in terms of keeping them in sync, I don't know if iTunes is necessarily going to do that. It certainly isn't going to make it... Wait, so wait, do you want... You want to synchronize one directory with another, correct? I, Essentially. I guess. I just don't want any music on my main hard drive. I just want it on my external. So just keep it on your external. Don't drag and drop anything into iTunes. Okay. You know, and in terms of of defining, you should be able to, inside of iTunes, you should be able to define your path, although I don't know how well it would work with an external hard drive if you don't always have that hard drive plugged in. Uh, preferences, advanced, iTunes, music folder, location, change, yeah, you can use that and just change your base folder from the local hard drive to wherever your external hard drive is. Okay. Uh, do you always yeah. have that external plugged in? I don't write it at the moment, no. Do you usually, though? Yeah. You do, usually? Yeah. Then you should be fine doing that. I don't think it's going to choke on you. That way you don't have to drag and drop it back into your uh, your system, whatever you're trying to do to get iTunes to recognize it. Just change the path. Okay. Hey, no problem. Yep. See ya. Yep. Next call. If I understood that call. This is Chris. Hello. Hi. Hi. What's up? This is Nat from Nat TV. Hey, Nat. Nat? Hey, on. Wait, 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 wait. This is Nat? Yes, this is Nat from Nat TV. Okay, I, it sounds like Nat. I believe you. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know. I just decided to open up my uh, phone line, and uh, all of a sudden, people started calling. Yeah, I've seen uh, there was a bunch of people that posted your number in my chat, and I was like, <laughs> hey, I, you know what? I'll just I'll call and see what he's doing. So. They're, they're spamming. Okay. They're, I'm sorry. They're spamming you? <laughs> no, they just said to call in. Oh, yeah. Do you have any tech questions? No, I was just wanting to call in and just to talk to you. I don't really have like a tech <laughs> question. I'm sorry. No, that. that <laughs> this is great. No one ever calls me just to chat anymore, babe. Well, I, I don't have a question. I'm sorry if if you know people are just waiting on questions. I just thought I'd just call in and just say hey. So I've got you pulled up now on my on my Mac. I uh, know, I see that. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, I think it's lagging perfectly. Who's with no, you? I just thought I'd call and see what was going on. I've seen, like, I, I tuned in a couple times when you went to Hawaii and thought that was pretty cool. Oh, yeah, you saw that? A pretty good stream? Yeah, I'm going to Aruba in March. Wow. Yeah. For a vacation? Yeah, for two weeks. Who are you going with? Um, me and my cousin are meeting my uncle down there. He's got a condo, so we're staying in there for a couple of weeks. And then I'm going to New York City for pod camp. Oh, you're going to pod camp? Yeah. 
Now, are you gonna are you gonna be teaching anything, or are you gonna be taking in some uh, courses or whatever they call them at Bod Camps? Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna take it all in, Chris. <laughs> so you got an iPhone there. You like that iPhone? Yeah, I love my iPhone. <laughs> yeah, I love it. It's, it's an great. addictive little device. <laughs> so no, wait, where are you at? Where are you located? Huh? Or where, where, which state are you calling from? Kentucky, can you tell? <laughs> well, I, I can't, what? Well, here, wait, hang on, can you hear my wife? Can you hear Ponzi? Yeah, I hear Ponzi. Hey, let me see here, if I can. Here, okay, babe. Hi, Nat, you're so cute, I just love your accent, it reminds me of home. She's from, oh, thank you, Ponzi. She's from South Carolina, or North Carolina. I always, I can never get those two straight. <laughs> Well, I just wanted to call in and say hey, because I watch you all quite often, actually. <clears throat> That's scary. It's scary. Every once in a while, I'll flip through just to see what everybody's doing on Ustream. Yeah, well, we're just kind of sitting here drinking rum and, and pineapple juice. Well, what else are you going to do on a Friday night? <laughs> huh? What else are you going to do on a Friday night? Oh, we're just sitting here turning into you. Oh, That's boy. That is. Oh, boy. Oh boy. But this... I want you to go. Somebody might be actually trying to ask you a question. I just wanted to call in and say hey. It's okay. People call in and say hey all the time. Not well, uh, not often, I'll ask but some, some other time. When I say all the time, I, I really mean just this is really a first. Yeah. <laughs> but no one says hey as cute as her. <laughs> Ponzi says no one says hey as cute as her. Now she's frozen over here. Nat's frozen. Very cute. Oh, no, there you Okay, there we go. Well, let's go. Someone might be trying to actually ask you a question. I'm I'm try they're there. We, we have, like, 314 people watching right now at 11 o'clock yeah, Pacific time. Late at night. Wow. You always have a lot of viewers. I Don't ask me why or how. <laughs> I guess it happens. More interesting than television, that's for damn sure. Yeah, I know. There's not much on TV anymore. No. We are TV. That's right. <laughs> but I'll let you go, and I'll, uh, I'll call in some other time and see how right. you're doing. Just checking up on you. Just wanting to say hey. Sounds good. All right, well, I'll talk to you later, then. Right. See you, Nat. All right, bye. Bye. Wow, I... I I don't know how to handle myself on a phone call if it's not tech related. How do you, how do you handle yourself on a call if it's not related to a tech question? How do you do that? I can't have a conversation with anybody anymore. I can't talk to anybody anymore. I who, the, who am I going to talk to? I don't know. I, just can't, I have no conversational skills anymore. The internet has killed my ability to carry on a conversation. I, I can't even do it. I, I'm, I'm afraid of picking up the phone now. I'm afraid of someone asking me something that I can't um, relate to. Like, uh... This is Chris. Hi, I was just wondering if uh, you knew any uh, good like FTP clients because I've been looking around and I couldn't yes. find one. You know, really. Which good. which OS? I'm using uh, Microsoft uh, Windows XP. Uh, yes, my number one recommendation and pretty much only recommendation for Windows is Win S C P W I N S C P dot com. It is not just FTP, but SFTP uh, also has hooks into PuTTY for SSHing. Uh, it is easy to use, fast, really see, uh, clean uh, interface, um, free. And I, honestly, I've tried them all. And I, I, as soon as I found WinSCP, and they recently added FTP functionality using FileZilla, uh, they they use the structure of FileZilla. They don't use the FileZilla client, thank goodness, because FileZilla is ugly as sin. Oh god, oh god, no, 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 no. If you use FileZilla, I mean, this is, okay, so like, WinSCP 
is like, you know, rubbing your face against something soft, against something smooth. And using uh, FileZilla is like rubbing your face against a cheese grater, okay? That's the experience between the two. And, and honestly, your face will look a lot like FileZilla does after the cheese grater, of course. Uh, and that is just nasty. Just bad. Not, it's, it's good. It's free and everything, but so is WinSCP. And WinSCP uses the best of FileZilla while looking far more elegant and is still free. WinSCP, period, end of story. No questions asked. <laughs> so you're saying basically it has a good interface and uh, it has a lot more features than FileZilla. Hazel, yeah! <laughs> and dude, I mean, I don't know. There are some people out there, sorry, there are some people out there, I do apologize, but there are some people out there who still use WS underscore FTP. Blah! It was a horrible client even back in the day. And people still use it. <laughs> no! And on Windows, to me, it's all about WinSCP. Now, if you're talking about OS 10, I really haven't found a client that I'm in love with. I've been using Cyberduck because it's free. Some people still use Fugu. It's free. Uh, I know some people love Transport, uh, although I, I don't know if I'm really into paying for an FTP client these days. Uh, when I go with, when free works, it, it works. Uh, I wish there was a WinSCP equivalent on OS X. Uh, unfortunately, I can't find one. So I'm still kind of looking for... Smart FTP! Dude, that's almost... That's the other side of the cheese grater. That's the cheese slicer side. That's smart FTP. No, 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 no. WinSCP, dude. WinSCP. Don't... Yeah, I tried smart FTP. I can't deal with that. Don't, don't, don't argue with me, okay? I've been doing software reviewing for the past, well, at least 11 years of my life, professionally. Don't do it. Don't... Do it. Don't just bookmark it. Download it. It's free. You don't even have to try it. Okay. Sorry. I'll show you. Thank you very much. Thank you.